Hi, yeah, today I'll be showing you how to make a washi tape bunting. These can be used for card making or scrapbooking. This is also a collaboration with the lovely Lindsay from Beadaholic94. I'll put a link to her video where she covers these boxes in washi tape at the end of the video and in the description. So first of all, you're going to need obviously some washi tape. Then you're going to need a card or your scrapbook, whatever this is going to be used for. And you're also going to need some fid thin thread for this first one. So what I'm going to do is going to take some washi tape and I'm going to cut it in some strips and I'm going to cut it into approximately 3 centimeter strips and this is what I'm going to use to make the individual little flag thingies. So I'm just going to cut a few of these out obviously because it's washi tape you can just stick it to something to save it I'm going to just use this plastic box and cut a few out first rather than do them one at a time So you can use this to make like banners and stuff. So this one I'm going to make, um, because it's washi tape, you can actually also write on it. So I'm going to use it to make a birthday banner for a card. So once you've got some cut up, you take your washi tape, you place the thread right in the middle of the washi tape. This is a lot less fiddly than I'm making it out to be, but I was trying to keep it on camera. <laughs> so you just fold the tape over. And that makes the little first flag thingy. Then you grab another one. You can use the same colour or change up colours. Totally up to you. I'm going to leave a small gap in between the two bits of washi tape. And you're going to do the same thing. And you're just doing this, carry on doing this across the whole bit of thread until you've got the size that you need. So once you've done that it will look something like this. And you just want to trim up the edges so they're all the same size. Because otherwise it will look a bit weird. <laughs> so just trim them up to the same length. And then you can shape them. Obviously you can keep square um, flags if you like, but I like to make them different shapes. I'm just going to add a little, cut off a little triangle at the bottom of each one. And like I say, you can draw on these, like a happy birthday sign, a celebration sign, whatever you like. You can use for all sorts of occasions. And once you've done that, I've just wrote happy birthday on these ones. You just use another small bit of washi tape to hold down the thread. And this is just a way of making a bunting that actually gives some dimension to your card or your scrapbook page. Because it's it stands out a bit and it can still move around freely, as you'll see when I pick up the card. Obviously this isn't the card that's finished. I was going to do a lot more to it. I was just showing you how to do the, just the banner. Yeah, as you can see, moves about, so it's not just stuck to the card. Now next I'm going to make a scrapbook page, I'm not regular at scrapbooking, I just like to keep a record of some of the things I make. And this is a really simple button, so I'm going to take a pen, I'm going to use a glittery gel pen, I'm just going to line out where I want the bunting, and this basically is going to be, instead of the thread, I'm just going to draw the line. should have got a gel pen that actually worked a bit better though. <laughs> then you can take some washi tape, though I'm actually using fabric tape for this. You're going to just cut it into triangles. Obviously if you are using washi tape you have to stick them to something while you're cutting out the others. <laughs> That's fabric tape, they've got a, like a cover at the back so it won't stick to anything. So you just simply cut out some triangles or whatever shape you want the bunt and flags to be. And again, because I'm using fabric tape, I've got to peel off the back to make it actually sticky. If it's washi tape, you can just stick it straight on. So you just be lining up the little flags to the line you drew. And just 
just stick them on leaving a small gap in between each triangle and that's the second way of doing a dump uh, uh, and bunting I was gonna say dumpling <laughs> thinking about food now <laughs> and there you have it so don't forget to check out Lindsay's video also again I'll put the link up at the end here and in the description so if you have any other washi ideas let me know because I'm fairly new to using washi tape and I can't seem to get hold of many at the moment. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Um, hope you got some good ideas from this video. Even though it's only a simple one. Okay, thank you. Bye.